It was so cold and so uncomfortable. This is my blow up pillow. Broken. <laughs> I feel like that I couldn't sleep at all because it was so freezing cold. I had to put on my motorcycle trousers, my leggings and my waterproof trousers as well. It was so cold and it's still cold. <laughs> Let's see if some coffee will help. It's really, really full. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Our super healthy breakfast in the morning. Chocolate cake. <laughs> All in one. This was coffee. Delicious. Oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> Misty all around. Misty? You can't see anything. It looks cold everywhere. No. It actually looks cold. Seriously, I didn't expect that. Let's go back in the tent. <laughs> Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, one, two, three, okay. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here on a foggy morning next to this lake, next to the small village of Sofcha in Turkey. And it was quite sunny yesterday and I did not expect it to be like this this morning. It's positively Baltic. I think this was the worst night in a long time. Like I was literally awake the whole night because I was freezing cold. Yeah, it was a pretty tough night and we put on every piece of clothing we had and it wasn't enough. <laughs> no. Because we have sort of summer-ish sleeping bags because of course if you've been following our series around the world you'll know that we've been in the summer most of the time and it's been really really hot. Last night was an exception, it was freezing cold. But despite all the coldness this spot here was just amazing. Like it was so nice and peaceful, a lot of birds around and to wake up with this mist around me this morning was so cool. It was freezing, but it was magical. Yeah, suffering is just part of this journey, you know. If you're not suffer, you didn't live it, you know. That's true. It's all <laughs> part of the challenge, hey? It's all yeah. part of the challenge of riding yeah. around the world. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> but today is a really important day on our journey because it's going to be our last ride in Asia. So we are here and today we're going to be taking the 650 road followed by the 200 over to the coast and around the Sea of Marmara to reach Istanbul. Oh my god, can you believe it? <laughs> today we're heading to Turkey's largest city, Istanbul, and we're going to cross the Bosphorus Strait from the Asian continent to the European continent. Europe, we are coming! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Mummy puppy, we will be home soon! <laughs> so it's 183 miles to Istanbul and our navigation says it will take us three hours. It's already 8.40, so better hit the road, let's go!
Wow, it's super foggy here on the highway. Crazy. Wow. Oh my God. The bike is recording at the moment eight degrees. So it must have been really, really cold last night. You're joking. Eight degrees. Eight oh degrees at the God. moment, yeah. Yeah, I have everything on. My leggings, my motorbike trousers, my waterproof trousers, my down jacket. I have even plastic bags around my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the day before yesterday it was literally 30 degrees in Antalya. We couldn't stay in southern Turkey forever. No. At one point we're just going to have to face Europe and just <laughs> and just go for it. But yeah. I can tell you I think it's going to be a cold ride through Europe. Yes, for sure. So we're planning on sticking to the most southern part we can. Greece, Albania, Italy. But after that we're heading north and we're just going to have to face whatever comes. Yes, there comes the sun. Beautiful. I think we were actually camped on top of a mountain. And that's why it was so cold. Because we've just been basically riding downhill since we left the camp spot. And it's just getting warmer and warmer by the second. Which is lovely. Well, it's 10 degrees right now. Oh, it's positively <laughs> toasty. A mm. hundred miles down. And it's time for our first break of the day. And I think it's time for a late burger breakfast. <laughs> Cool, look at this, yeah, nice. they've, got, they've got everything here. Yeah. All right, what's this in front? Look at this. <laughs> awesome. Burger. You. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> A little bit frozen stiff, hey? Anyway, we're now halfway to Istanbul. We have 75 miles to go, one and a half hours. It's really cool because this Burger King does a plant-based Whopper, which is like the first one we've seen in ages. How cool is that, hey? I'm so super excited. So, bon appetit! And both meals together cost us 10 pounds. I'm really happy with that. It's nice to have a plant-based burger again. All right, lunch break over. We had a Burger King and then we went to Starbucks and had a coffee and used their internet for a bit. Full on relaxing time. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nearly one o'clock now, but it's time to do our final ride towards Istanbul. So we have one and a half hours to go and then we'll be crossing into Europe. Istanbul, we're coming! guys the Bosphorus bridge can you believe it after 40,000 miles we will finally head back into Europe this is gonna be absolutely <laughs> crazy <laughs> why would you believe it there's a traffic jam <laughs> <laughs> on the bridge that's great yeah I think it's really fitting that our return to Europe is in a traffic jam <laughs> yes anyway this will give us a lot of time to appreciate this beautiful amazing bridge connecting Asia to Europe <sighs> this is definitely a very very nice moment this is it this is us saying goodbye to Asia bye bye Asia and hello to Europe <laughs> So I'll give you guys a little bit of info about this bridge as we're crossing over. This is the Bosphorus Bridge constructed in 1973. 
and when it was constructed it was the fourth longest bridge in the world and the longest bridge in Europe and in Asia and it's really really interesting because actually this is the first bridge to connect Asia and Europe since the pontoon bridge of Xerxes in 480 AD. So literally the first bridge connecting Asia and Europe in 1,500 years. Whoa, look at this. And this is the Bosphorus Strait running from the Black Sea out to the Mediterranean that we can just about see in the background over there. Wow, what a crazy place. Magica, sweetheart, we made it. Well, yes, this is it. <laughs> Touching down in <laughs> Europe. We made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that, hey? We have just crossed from the Asian side of Istanbul to the European side and 40,000 miles after leaving Europe we're back, baby. We are back. Oh cool, look at the sign. Welcome, Welcome to, to Europe! Europe. Yes! <laughs> Welcome to Europe! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That oh, is cool. amazing. This is a milestone. This is a major milestone of the journey after so many miles since Vladivostok. I mean, I don't even know how many miles we've ridden since we landed in Vladivostok, but it feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> yes. I still can't believe it. You know, it's like, what a journey. Yeah. And now it really feels like we are on the home stretch. We have just Greece, Albania, Italy, Austria, Germany, Netherlands and France. Okay, Easy. that does actually sound like quite a lot. But I can tell you, now that we're in Europe, those are all a lot closer together than they were before. Yes, I mean, it was still a lot of riding here in Turkey, a lot of miles. Turkey is an absolute huge country. Yeah, it was like our last big, big country to cross. And now it's just going to be plain sailing. Yeah. Now the countries are going to go fast. And then, before we know it, it's going to be England again. <laughs> Crazy. So we're coming closer to the old part of Istanbul now. The beautiful center. And we're just cruising down along this river. And it is such a beautiful city here. Very busy, but very beautiful as well. Yes, whilst we're cruising down towards the center, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Istanbul. So Istanbul is Turkey's largest city with a population of 15 million, which is 19% of the population of Turkey. And it's also the most populous city in Europe. The city was originally founded as Byzantium in the seventh century BC. It then later became the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, and was renamed Constantinople in 330 AD by Emperor Constantine. <laughs> so he named the city after himself and it remained the center of the Eastern Roman Empire all the way until it became the center of the Ottoman Empire but it wasn't until 1930 that it was actually renamed its current name Istanbul which is the Turkish rendering of to the city. This is an incredibly important city and really central to European and world history but I don't know if that makes it worth riding in this traffic. But anyway, it is really cool to be here. Who can say they have been in a traffic jam in Istanbul, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who can say they're stupid enough to route themselves to the very center of the city? <laughs> I literally put on the map, I was like, go to the center, do what you want. Yes. And we'll just follow it. Yeah, sometimes I think we're a little bit crazy on this journey to do this. Yeah. But anyway, I think we were crazy to begin the journey anyway, so. There we go. Nice to be here anyway, hey? Oh yeah. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So we're actually trying to get to Istanbul's most famous attraction, the Hagia Sophia. But we have no idea if we can actually get there. I've just routed on the map straight to it. And now we're just going through all the old streets in the very, very center of Istanbul, hoping that we can get a glimpse of it. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. No, these streets are so busy. Oh my lordy lord. And so uneven as well. It says we are less than a mile away from the Hagia Sophia, but I have yet to see it, so see how far we can get. Oh, is that it just over there? 
over to the left now. Yeah, is that the top of it over there? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We can so. see the top of it. <laughs> Woo! One eternity later. Whew. This is starting to get pretty tough now. This last mile has taken us nearly an hour so far. The traffic here is so mad. It's just absolutely barely moving. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. We are only half a mile from the Hagia Sophia now, but I still can't see it. It's literally just behind, just behind there. I've seen people walking past us and getting there faster. Yeah. But a lot of nice Turkish rugs. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally it says 0 0.2, we turn and it should be right in front of us. So close. Okay, I think this might be as close as we're gonna get. Yeah. Just gonna park the bike here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna walk it. It's okay to park here for five minutes? Oh, just there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So he said we could park just here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So it looks like this is as far as Bumblebee can go. Now I'm gonna have to do the rest on foot. Whoa, here we go, guys. There it is up ahead. No way. That is absolutely massive. Wow. Wow, there you go. We've made it. So Lavi had to wait back with the bike unfortunately, but I'll send her over here afterwards. But there it is, up ahead. I'm standing right in front of the Hagia Sophia, the landmark of Istanbul. I can't believe that we rode Bumblebee all the way here. Wow, what a crazy building. So I just want to give you guys a few facts about this amazing building. So the Hagia Sophia was constructed as an Eastern Orthodox Cathedral in 537 AD. And when it was constructed, it was the largest indoor space in the entire world. And it remained the largest cathedral in the world until the Cathedral of Seville was built in the 1500s. So for a thousand years, it was the largest cathedral in the world. As I said, it began its life as an Eastern Orthodox Cathedral. But when Constantinople fell to the Ottoman Empire in the 1400s, this became a mosque and it remained a mosque until 1935 when it became a museum. And then in 2020, so really recently, they actually turned it back into a mosque. I'm just gonna walk around and have a look on this side. an absolutely crazy building that has got to be one of the wonders of the world right here absolutely unbelievable to be here wow what a super impressive building but what's really impressive about it is that it was built in 537. 1,500 years ago, they managed to build a building that big. That's just absolutely crazy. I can't imagine what it would have been like for the people at the time to have seen such a massive indoor space. What an impressive place. Anyway, I have to get back to Lavi, back to Bumblebee, because we've really got to get out of Istanbul before rush hour kicks in. All right, time to get out of here. Yes, please. It's looking really, really, really busy. This is a city with 19 million people, guys. And each single one of them is right here. <laughs> Let's get out of Istanbul. Let's see, maybe the traffic is a little bit better on the way out. <laughs> I don't think so. Really, guys, promise me to never, ever drive or ride in Istanbul. Seriously. <laughs> We've ridden in a lot of country capitals already. And most of the time it went pretty well and I was surprised at how like easy it was to get around but I can tell you that Istanbul is definitely the exception. Istanbul 
has been incredibly difficult to get around. These roads are very uneven and cobbled. This traffic is unending and these streets are very windy, narrow, basically everything which is really difficult to ride on. But anyway, I'm happy that we did it because we have seen a good amount of the city, which is nice. Yeah, we've had a whole city tour. Yeah, pretty much. But it's so funny <laughs> because I thought that I was standing in front of the Hagia Sophia. <laughs> so I kind of did all my information and everything. <laughs> oh, I made it. Yes, the Hagia Sophia. And then when I was finished, I looked on the sign and I was like, huh, Blue Mosque. And then I asked the person next to me and I was like, is this the Hagia Sophia? And he's like, no, 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 it's down that way. Oh my god, I was like, no. Then I had to walk to the real Hagia Sophia and do it all again. Yeah, I mean, two mosques like right next to each other. How do you want to know like which is the right one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you know, first time there, I really thought I was standing in front of the Hagia Sophia. These streets are busy full of stuff. A Charming. lot of stuff going on. Yeah, but pretty cool. We could find a room, a room in our price range as well. It's about 22 pounds and it's 22 miles away from here. Yeah, it is a little bit out the city in the direction that we're going. Oh no, I lost the... Is it just falling now? I think... Can you see it? No, I can't see it actually. No, it's gone. You lost ah! it? <laughs> um, from England. Do you so mind to grab this rubber thing on the ground? There, 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 over there. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I give you our car. We have a YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. Awesome. Yes, you can subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost this piece off Lavi's foot peg. Oh, I'm so glad that we picked that up because yeah. we couldn't have come back here. I tell you. <laughs> we can glue it back on. Yeah, we need to glue it back on. Anyway, we'll update you guys once we get a little bit out. Yes, yes. <laughs> because I think we're going to be here a while. street with all the flags wow amazing really nice decoration and the next traffic jam <laughs> that's as far as we got oh look at this biker whoa here he goes whoa i can't filter like that with these bags with these panniers no we're trying to follow this police car <laughs> to see if we can skip a little bit of traffic oh move out the way for us <laughs> or for them go 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 Go, go. <laughs> go, 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 guys. We've got a hotel to get to. <laughs> wow, yeah, this traffic here is so mad. We haven't gone anywhere. Like, we have still 19 miles to go. And we started with, like, 23 miles. <laughs> it has been an hour or something like that. Seriously, even this police car can't get anywhere. Mad traffic. Mad traffic. Even the scooters are going past the police. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, traffic has started moving. Yes, let's get out of the city and let's get to this hotel. We made it to the world-class airport hotel. It's pretty much sunset now. It's been a long day, a crazy day. Hello. You're a good dog, hey? You're a good dog. Anyway, we made it. We're here. It's time to unpack. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy to live. Yes. Woo! Oh, my God. This is a really beautiful hotel room. The hotel is called World Class Hotel. This is a world class room. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's got a light switch. They've got free coffee. They've got free snacks. There's enjoy our special treat for you. That's nice, guys. But man, it was a hectic ride. Yeah, another full-on day on Bumblebee. I mean, we got into the outskirts of Istanbul at like half past one, two o'clock, and now it's like nearly seven o'clock. So we were going around the city for a long time. It's a mad city. It's a beautiful city. It's a very vibrant city. A lot of stuff is going on. Like, I can't imagine you can spend so much time in the city. Yeah, it was really cool to see Istanbul. And it's really cool to finally be in Europe again. 
So that's it, the final episode of season five. And now it's time to explore Europe, a brand new season, season six, and I can't wait. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.